The TLDR here, for those who just want the gist of this video, the issues I pointed out a few days ago are no more. If you're having CD Redbook audio sync issues, try using a different SD card. I switched from a Transcend brand to a Samsung and the issues went away for myself. If you're having graphical issues in a game such as Sapphire, update the Turbo EverDrive Pro firmware. Crix tweeted back to me and suggested I upgrade to 1.0 to Beta 2 and I did that and the issues were no more. Now let's go into a bit more detail. But I have to start by admitting I earned the name Doofus. Let me explain. In the first video I pointed out a sync issue with Redbook Audio and CD games and playback. It was off about a second or two in some games. Shortly after I posted this video, someone by the name of Ty Lori, uh, apologies if I got that pronunciation wrong, left a comment on my video suggesting trying a different SD card. I did that, and again, I went from Transcend to Samsung, and the audio issues went away. Everything played back exactly as it should have. I really should have thought to try that before, but I'm glad it's no longer an issue, and uh, yeah, it was really a non-issue. Next, at the suggestion of Crix himself, I updated the firmware of the Turbo EverDrive. When I received mine, it came with 1.01 installed, but I upgraded to 1.02 Beta 2, which is publicly available on his site, and the issues with Sapphire disappeared completely. I powered off and on the system multiple times, and the issues did not come back, not even once. With those issues now resolved, this is working exactly as I had hoped. I'll make another video soon to go into detail of how to set up the SD card itself, update the firmware, use cheat codes, and go into a bit more detail in save states. Thanks for watching.